Greetings all, Fanny here for Aquarius' weekend message. Aquarius, I apologize for my absence in the past couple of weeks. The video I posted before today's readings explains what's been going on. If you're interested, go check it out. If not, I am here for your reading. You have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Two of Cups. <clears throat> now, I can't say anything about anyone's relationships. I have only had one decent one myself. But this feels toxic. Specifically a toxic female or divine feminine relate divine feminine energy. Someone who is manipulative, abusive, maybe not n physically, but certainly mentally and emotionally. I'm just hearing like the you're not a man, you're not a man, you're not a man kind of energy and it doesn't matter who you are who you identify as no one has a right to make you feel like that no one has a right to make you feel like a thing or an object or as something of lesser value than the treasure that you are because you absolutely are a treasure and someone does not see that or they do see it but they don't treat you the way that you should be treated yeah justice in the emperor in reverse something about this something about this entire situation is wrong yeah, and off, like, subconsciously, you even know that this isn't right. But for whatever reason, our egos say that we need to stay in that situation we stay. Spirit, what do you have for Aquarius? This is a challenging, trying, difficult situation. Yeah, the lovers and nine of swords. This is controlling. This is confining. My love, if you are dating someone or with someone, around someone, this doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a job, a friendship. If you are only around them because you are afraid of being alone, you have to separate yourself from that because you are accepting a love less than what you deserve. You are, no, no one deserves this. This is awful. This, I just, if someone was doing what is happening here to my friends oh there there would be need for endangered plants i'm gonna leave it there <laughs> i i feel like someone is not being told the full truth someone is being lied to perhaps even cheated upon and you may even know this but you're just accepting it because you feel like, no, they love me. They just, they have a lot of needs or they, they love me, but they, they have a, a different relationship. Relationships are about mutual respect. If you give it, but do not get it, that is not the relationship you need. If they give it, but you do not, that is not the relationship that you need to be in. It must be mutual. It must be respectful. It must be understanding, patient, and that's fucking hard. Because that takes a lot of humility on both people's parts. Humility that they avoid greatly. Prosperity lies ahead. Taurus, earth sign energy, deals with a lot of money, but also physicality, sexuality, and comfort. Prosperity here, to me, is not in reference to money or security, but happiness, which may be something that's been very difficult for you to acquire, Aquarius. Have faith in your dreams. They've carried you through to this point for a reason, and they need a little more time and attention. Work through your fears. Step out of your comfort zone. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be quite the transition. But 
there will be a point where everything meets and connects. There will be a point where it is no longer the struggle. Balancing spirituality and practicality. Now, I'm not saying that everyone needs to go and start getting down with their higher self. You can certainly do that if you want to or if you feel like you're ready to. But starting and opening that door is you, you, you commit to that connection to your higher self, to your greatest and highest good. Because when you start coming online like that and connecting and seeing your gifts and attunements come into play, if it becomes too overwhelming, a lot of people get scared and regress back to the lower vibrational place of where they were. But you can't unlearn information that you knew. So instead, there is a lot of alcoholism, drug abuse, and addictions because people have to deal with this weird new reality. And the programming that we have had all our lives have told us that if you can't touch it, see it, or feel it, it is not real. But that is because we are in the realm of the rational and in the mundane. And spirit does not work the same way, my love. Spirit works in a completely different way. They use metaphysical, physical, symbols, signs, synchronicities, numbers. They speak to you in a completely different way. The energy is gaining momentum and moving forward very, very quickly, my love. Waxing moon. We are moving towards a full moon energy. Yeah. New moon. Waxing. New moon. Full moon. It may take many... Yeah. What do you need to release? It's going to take a lot of time. It will take many moon cycles. But you will get to the place where you need to be. It is gaining momentum because you are realizing more and more every single day that you deserve this. A fiery climax is approaching, an end to this controlling situation. Confrontation is something that I generally avoid, but at a certain point, you have to stand up for yourself. Bitch fire. Burn the world down if you must. But you don't deserve what you have had to experience here in this situation. You don't deserve what they have put you through. And you certainly don't deserve the abuse that they have laid upon your mind and making you feel like you can only rely upon them. That is a toxic, controlling, narcissistic energy vampire. And you had to lance a leech. It is difficult, it is crude, and it will certainly not be painless. But... The healing, the recovery, and the release that comes when you are finally out of the situation because you cannot heal where you were hurt. You have to leave, or they have to. The energy must change, the space must change, and you must change. Because for whatever reason they decided they were going to take advantage of you, we are not accepting that anymore. We are not accepting the first love that comes our way because we are afraid we're not going to receive anything else. You deserve so much more, Aquarius. And if no one has ever told you that, I will be the first to say. You deserve love. You are worthy of happiness. And you are able to achieve your dreams. And whatever they may be. Have a beautiful day, Aquarius.